Hey, it's your CEO, Weekend Gabe, and thanks for watching Weekend at Gabe's. We hope that you enjoy this latest episode. While you're here, hit the subscribe button and follow us on YouTube. Thanks for watching. All right, we're at 805, so let's get into it, Sam. You know what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, your mom doesn't care. Your grandma doesn't give a shit. The English prime minister does not care enough to stay and tune in for news. She doesn't even care enough to stay in and tune in for a job. But ladies and gentlemen, there is one man who cares, so you don't have to. And his name is Weekend Gabe, and that is why it's news that only Weekend Gabe cares about. All right. Let's get to big news today. Liz Truss resigns as Britain's prime minister after only 45 days. My right. goodness. What is going on right. in the UK? How do you right. get your job and not right. in the last six weeks? Right. That is Okay. Like, now, here's a question for you, Gabe, while we're on this topic. What is the fastest you've ever quit slash been fired from a job? Uh, I think it was like maybe four months. Four months? That is yeah. that is the shortest tenure. Yep. Four months. I think I, I, like, I think I've got you beat because I think I, I gave it a month at one. one oh, month. no. I'm fucking lying. A day and a half. <laughs> you already know what it is america weekend gabe is more of a flake than liz trust confirmed we confirmed uh, it here on the show home run in i quit after two shifts two nights that's all i gave it i was like fuck this shit i'm not doing this shit being being a bus boy is not the business pre internet pre cell phone to keep you occupied while all two people are eating in the dining area on a Tuesday evening. Fuck that shit. I did not last very long. My check was like thirty four dollars. I think, and I went and collected that bitch too. <laughs> in person? I did. I said, uh, "When's my check?" They're like, uh, "Come get it like on Thursday or whatever." And I went and got my check. And I was like, "Fuck this!" Uh, but yeah, no. But forty five days, man. Liz Truss uh, is up out of there, which means that you, uh, the the British Parliament, is looking for another leader, which is going to be their fifth leader in about what is it like six years, seven years? Yeah. I don't know. I, it's I, like every year, no, you guys easily less than that. It's been like the fifth leader in. In four or something like that. Yeah, we're going to get to um, I only took half a semester of political science classes in college. Uh, but one specific chapter sticks with me. And that was the chapter where they were like, oh, we measure how strong a regime is based on how many times they change power uh, peacefully. Now, yeah. I know that all these transitions have been peaceful, but at the same time, this does not send a very good message after 45 days that you got to quit the job. I don't know. You know, Trump was bad, but at least he gave us four years. You know, you like, like now nah, he wasn't even ready to give up after four years. <laughs> he wanted to uh, give us four more. He might yeah, still give us four more. <laughs> Man. But uh, but look at the what is it? The, what, what's the equivalent of the New York Post in the, the UK? Uh, the, Daily the Daily Star. Star? Yeah. Yeah, so they uh, ran a competition or like an online poll of like what would last longer, this lettuce or Liz Truss's time as British, uh, the Parliament's uh, Prime Minister. And it looks like the lettuce man outlasted, man. Congratulations the to the wins. lettuce. The lettuce wins. Listen, Everybody get it in. Knows, you know, round of applause for fucking lettuce, man. Get it because in. There you know go. how hard it is to stay fresh outside <laughs> of a refrigerator if you're a fucking <laughs> lettuce. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Do you know how hard it was for Liz Truss to show up to work when the pound was crashing and their currency was turning worthless? It Man. was much, much, I, I, at least equal comparable difficulty to staying fresh as a head of lettuce. I don't know how you, I don't know like if anyone likes you, even if your own family likes you when shit's going really bad. They're just looking at you at the dinner table or at the breakfast table. Like, <laughs> you piece of shit. Like, look the fuck you doing. <laughs> what are you doing like i can only imagine like george bush during the when, when the economy was collapsing and we're also spending trillions in iraq and afghanistan in like uh oh seven whatever year it was You're like you piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> just uh, jeb bush eating his mashed potatoes angry angry face jeb bush yeah, yeah that's yeah. the image i'd like to keep in my head it's keeping me sane look at this absolute ghoul of a woman <laughs> <laughs> you should also mention that I didn't realize this, but she's uh, hugely against trans students, and this, which is yeah, she's, she, she's she spent her whole campaign railing against trans rights, and none of her campaign talking about what she would do financially. And oh ho, oh, 
fucking coming out of left field. She fucked up the financial fucking bullshit while she was worried about <laughs> people kind of using insane. different bathrooms. Go fuck yourself. We're all gonna be using. They're all gonna be using the 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 poor bathroom soon. They're so gonna be using the matter. bathroom in Ten Downing Street once we're done with you. <laughs> Eat the rich. So let's go into a list of this. I pulled this off Reddit. Uh, if you could see it, these are the things that lasted longer than forty five <laughs> days. Kim Kardashian's marriage, which I think was seventy five days. Yep. Uh, time between haircuts. You oh, easily. Your, I got a haircut, haircut today, and uh, they were like, "When's the last time you came in?" I was like, "August for sure." Uh, it's been a while, so yeah, that yeah. one counts. I'm going on about six weeks. So I, my my haircuts last longer than Liz Truss. Uh, what is it? No more than two full moons. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what wild playtime is. It's off Reddit, so go for it. Oh, World of, World of Warcraft playtime. Oh, yeah. all right. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Uh, the trapped Chilean <laughs> miners. <laughs> Food in the freezer. A single Craigslist post lasts longer than 45 days. <laughs> Uh, what is it? Shelf life of genetically altered tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Your, your Christmas tree lasts longer than 45 days. And, of course, the stunner, Lindsay Lohan's time in rehab. Uh, <laughs> she did not last for it. She lasted longer than 45 days. That's bad. Uh, let's see. Oh time to clear a government background check. That definitely lasts longer than 45 The batteries days. in any remote control. That's hilarious. Uh, uh, the time to get a refund at most retailers definitely you know you can you can get up to like 60 days you know with a receipt maybe most of the bottles of liquor in my kitchen is false none of those bottles are lasting more than 45 days in my kitchen i don't know what kind of level that you guys are drinking alcohol at but i drink heavily (laughs) because we film music shots which is coming up later stay tuned for music shots yeah later on in the evening and then, of course, at the time uh, for most passwords before they expire. So uh, there's a lot of things that lasted longer than Liz Trust, man. She's out the gate, man. Uh, I don't. But then you also mentioned that because she's been a prime minister, now she has benefits for the rest of her life. So yeah, she's gonna she, she, she got the she won. You know, she fucking fleeced the British government into putting her in power only for her to quit. And yeah. uh, now she gets to walk away with one hundred and fifty hundred and fifteen thousand. And that's some shit. Like you fuck shit up, and then you get rewarded for it. Yeah, one hundred fifteen thousand a year for the rest of her life. That's called failing up. Like, how do you fail up? This is. I don't. I just don't know, man. Like, <laughs> all I know is put me in, coach. You know, like because uh, I saw a tweet this morning that said, uh, "Can't wait for my turn as prime minister because surely we all got to go now." I, I, uh, I mean, just have tryouts like in the the parking lot or the, you know someone's someone's basement. You know, see this shit right here. It's worthless these days. You see that? See that? <laughs> see that? It's fucking yeah. worthless. Yeah. Oh, well, good luck to the, the people of the United Kingdom. Uh, you guys will be all right. All right. Yeah, here's a quick run through of the last <laughs> uh, few prime ministers. Look, you guys got four since, uh, what is it, uh, 2010. So that's not too bad. David Cameron was 2010. So, like, you know, four in 12 years, I guess that's not awful. <laughs> Man. It could be worse. Could like be at better? the time, at the time to say that David Cameron was going to be the best uh, of the next four prime ministers would have been absolutely blasphemous. People would have crucified you in the street for saying some shit like that. But look at this fucking list. Oh my yep. goodness! All right, yeah, it Sorry. could be worse. Could be worse. Could be better. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out what the future holds. Maybe yeah. the maybe the lettuce might be a really great. Prime I would minister. love to elect. I can just elect. Elect the lettuce. lettuce. The head of lettuce. There you go. One more round of applause for that head of lettuce. Good God, you went through a lot. Way more than yeah. was trusted. <laughs> All right, our next stop is the NBA. Opening night was this weekend. Your fucking Los Angeles Lakers are still a piece of shit team. So congratulations to them. Did you see the Golden State Warriors uh, really s- nice championship rings with the I did. I you know what I have problem with the NBA rings, um, and it's a design problem. And it's somebody in the NBA is deciding to make these motherfuckers bigger every year. And yep. I, at a certain point, they just get too big for the hand. So when I saw Steph Curry walking around, he had the ring on, you know, he was like, oh, I got four of these bitches. I was like, yeah, but you know, 
you you physically won't be able to put all four of them on one hand right now. No, you can't even. They're all massive. So like, what are we talking about? It looks like the fucking gauntlet of Thor of, of Thanos, man. It's like it's just these gauntlets. Yeah, that fucking- shit. That shit is damn near a bracelet. Like, at what at what point do we just start giving these motherfuckers bracelets? You know, like, do you remember uh, the, the the mummy Scorpion King? You know, uh, like bro has a fucking bracelet yeah, yeah, that yeah. attaches. Oh to yeah, his yeah, shit. yeah, 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 yeah. That's what NBA rings are gonna be like in fifteen. Yo, years, championship sure. bracelet sounds kind of yeah. dope. I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I, I would probably take a championship chain though. Uh, if you like chain that bitch, a lot of people like, do put it on the chain. They, they because oh, they're no. so big this year, they ended up just like throwing them on the chain. Yeah, I, but, but I mean, you know, like, as we all know, that can end poorly if somebody decides to snatch your chain at the court. <laughs> Don't get your chain snatched. They get your um, chain and your championship ring. That's not a yeah. way to go out. Yeah, but uh, LeBron and the Lakers took another L. That I don't know. He's just he's on a mission to just get the scoring record and you know make sure that he's still playing when his son makes the league. I, that's that's all that is. But yeah, I can't. I, I don't think even LeBron can pretend that championships are his main priority right now. He just doesn't care. And actually, that's the best thing for him. So you know, more power to him. Yeah, so uh, if your team is one and zero, you know you can throw up the dub. Uh, our Chicago Bulls are one and zero. Let's, let's, we're gonna go to the box score from last night's game. You know what the fuck away. is going on? How many points did DeRozan have? I he went for th- thirty-seven big boys. Ladies and gentlemen, off. ladies and gentlemen, here's a weekend of games exclusive for you. If DeMar DeRozan scores less than thirty-five points, the Bulls are losing that night. Yes, our, our yes, boy, they are. Our boy Io went for seventeen. Uh, Nico went for fifteen. Uh, yeah, man, it was it was a good game, man. I, I, I everyone uh, had a great game. We didn't have Zach Levine. We didn't have Lonzo. Man, it's gonna be all right, man. I think the season's gonna be think, all right. Man. I don't think. Uh, I mean, by all reports, we're not gonna have Lonzo until oh, the end of, maybe like, next like, year, beginning beginning of the new year, maybe. No, 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 not. He is not even. Remember, he had surgery on his knee. I yeah, think yeah, that yeah, was yeah, like yeah. January. Yeah, yep. He is not running or jumping yet. After oh, that man. surgery. Oh, well, listen. It is going to be a really long season. It's going to be a big. I'm, it's going. It's going to be a big year for Io. That's all I know. That's, I'm yeah, absolutely going to be a big year for Io. He's going to need to. Be, he's going to be asked to do a lot, and uh, it's nice to see the Bulls at the top of the power rankings. Look at that! Um, one to no, bitch. Look at that! One and oh, size it enough. That is amazing. But at the same time, uh, realistic output on the Bulls this year. At, their highest, <laughs> most highest peak, they're going to be in that four spot, uh, and they're not going to be – they're likely going to be more in that six, seven, eight I, spot. I think they could be a 50-win team this year. I'd, I'd give them that. That'd be, a, that'd be a, a positive. It would be a damn shame if they didn't make the playoffs. I'll say that. Uh, I'd be surprised if they do not make the playoffs. I, I would be just floored. I don't know. I don't know how many thirty-five point games Demar has in him, but you're saying a fifty-win season. That means Demar's got fifty thirty-five point games in him this it, year. He's going to be the MVP this year. Where, where where do I put that bet down on FanDuel? Uh, I'm putting the bet down. He's going <laughs> to be the MVP this year. I promise you, it's gonna it's gonna happen. All right, let's uh, switch over to some other sports stuff that we we're supposed to get to last week before Restream uh, decided to fucking not work. Uh, Dan Snyder from your Washington Commanders is a bit of a piece of shit, man. ESPN did a, a bit of an expose on him, and they found out that, one, he runs a shitty operation that's filled with toxic uh, environment, but also that he's been uh, trying to scrub and get some op- uh, opposition research on all the NFL owners who are plotting his demise to get out of the ownership with the Washington Commanders. And that ran, and that also actually we were uh, because we didn't do a sh- show last week. I was able to catch the end of the Bears game where they did play the Washington Commanders. And I don't know if you saw this, but uh, Al Michaels uh, did a bit of a minute take on Dan Snyder and pretty much said like the league would be better off without him. And so uh, this made a lot of news. And then this week, Dan Snyder sent a letter to all the NFL owners, pretty much disputing everything that ESPN said. Said it's false that he hasn't done any opposition research. He hasn't you know, hired any PIs. But anyways, man, when you're just that knee deep into shit, man, like people just don't like you. And I've worked with some managers that I didn't like and other people didn't like. And you can't really recover from any of that, man. Just a uh, public opinion. If you're a shit person, you can't really come back from not being a shit person. 
I agree. Uh, and by all accounts, Dan Snyder is a shit human being. I won't even Facts. use uh, the word person. Uh, he is a shit, shit human being. That's a, that's all I have to say. Uh, not to mention the, <laughs> the, the Washington Commander's former team name that we will not mention here on this show. Um, and the saga that he decided to double down on during that time. Uh, but also the point that he's reached a level of toxicity that people, other owners in the league who are not fucking, <laughs> they're not heroes either. Yeah. Any stretch of the imagination. All of these owners probably do have dirt. And if anybody has dirt on them, Dan Snyder is probably the one at the same time, uh, Dan Snyder can go fuck himself. Um, Huge facts. And uh, I don't want the other owners getting any sort of leg up because Dan Snyder is the basement. They are all in the basement. Dan Snyder just happens to be the floor of that basement. Man, it, it's it's amazing how much he's just ruined. Like, they've only had one or two playoff appearances in the 20 years that he's owned the team. That's it. Imagine being a Washington fan and like that's all you have to hold on to. That's, like, that's it. Yeah. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy how much pride these owners have when they're not good at their job. Virginia McCaskey. I'm oh, yeah. At you. Yeah. I was about to say, there, there's a lot of bad owners out there. Uh, Virginia McCaskey. Well, once we move to them. Arlington Heights, we are going to be through the roof. That's can't, what I'm talking about. I can't baby. wait. Two years. Cash hopefully. money. Cash money. Listen, we could drive to the games, park at the games. Huge, huge win for everyone. Uh, but ho- and hopefully in two years, man, uh, this piece of shit will have uh, decided that you know what, all the ridicule is not worth it, man. And uh, just uh, b- imagine being in a room with thirty other owners who fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't imagine what that feels like. But Dan Snyder, when he walks in the room, you have to imagine that just like this fucking guy, this fucking guy. It has to be like when Putin w- walks into like the UN or some shit, and you're like, fuck this guy. <laughs> or, like there can't be any positive to that. I have to imagine that wears on you as much as you pride yourself as being an owner of an NFL team. It's being that. I gotta, I gotta imagine just from the photo that it's wearing on him because that beard is not doing him any favors. No, he has that shitty. Uh, who's that? Uh, was it? Oh, he has that Ted Cruz shitty beard. Like you know, it's like like it's like I'm trying to be a man's man and grow a beard, but it's just like a shitty yeah. beard. Yes, that, that's the Ted like Cruz shitty beard. I didn't yeah. know that it was designed as such, but now that it has, <laughs> you look it up. Like when he first started, he's all he's all clean cut, Raphael uh, Cruz. Yeah. Uh, now it's like, oh, now I'm Ted. <laughs> we gotta love it. Oh, fuck Dan Snyder every day that we breathe uh, uh breathe air on this planet. I miss all these headlines. But there it goes. Hey, All right, we're gonna, it, right, we're gonna go to our next item of the day, the very important job of rolling Snoop Dogg's blunts. Let's get to it. It's actually gonna be my job after I quit this show. Man, listen, we're both gonna compete for that job, so I'm just telling you. <laughs> I, I may not be good at it at all. That's what um, I'm saying. It's like one of us is qualified and the other is not. That's that's all I'm gonna a, say. A, about apparently, that. being an NFL owner or a prime minister doesn't require any credentials. So I may <laughs> I may be able to be a blunt roller for Snoop Dogg. I that have was a, a chance. Good one. That was a good one. <laughs> We're having a positive full circle on that one. That was great. That was great. You know, I've been you're doing in rare form tonight, my friend. Yes. I've, I've been doing this for a while. Uh, Renegade per, Renegade Piranha uh, is Snoop Dogg's blunt roller. Uh, her, a friend of her recommended going to the interview, interview for this, and she thought it was a bit of a scam. And then she went to the first interview, and then she says, quote, there was a glass tip on the table because typically people use glass tips for joints. Only the suggestion was, why don't we use the glass tips for a blunt? And then so she went through that uh, interview process and then she faced off against two other blunt rollers in a quote unquote roll off. And then she uh, she was competing against a sound engineer and a Venezuelan cigar roller. And she came out on top and beat all of them to be the supreme Snoop Dogg blunt roller of the stars. Listen, man, I don't know if this is the the craziest or the best interview that someone has endured, but uh, I approve of this fuckery. <laughs> Congratulations to this woman, because uh, I can imagine you putting that on your resume, like uh, Starbucks. All, all, I can think of, all I can think of now that you've like presented the interview process is I can do that. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like it's like, you know, when you're watching the NBA on TV and you're like, Duncan looks easy. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. It's on TV. It's, yeah, totally doable. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know how much she's getting paid. They didn't say in the article what her salary is, but I think it doesn't really matter, right? Because you're just like, I think I remember hearing about this. You gotta be able to, you gotta be able to cover your bills, right? You know. Yeah, but I think it's also like you may have to like live there because you're like, hey, Snoop Dogg probably works gets up really early. Yeah, know? there's it's probably on some like you you don't get holidays off. You probably don't get great benefits. Like, <laughs> like do you get a smoke with with Snoop? Like, I, I kind of feel like since you're in the well, room, you might get like you know like a little back end. You might be a fly on the wall to some conversations that might end up actually helping you. You know, it's like just because he's hired you is just your blunt roller. You know, it doesn't mean you have to be there for the next seven years. You know, All right, you can you can be done after two. You know, you can find a successor. You might be looking at your successor right here. All right, hey, so the, America, great. I could do this. <laughs> great, on, great. Give me a call, great. Snoop. I could do the Modelo commercials. It'd be great. Corona. Great, great segue. Sam Crane is Snoop Dogg's blunt roller. You rolled the blunt. Now, what are like? Are you pitching? They're like, hey, I can also write songs. I can write your PR. I can book your shows. Like, what, what else are you trying to finesse if you're in the room? Uh, nothing, nothing. Because <laughs> I, have, I have finessed enough, bro. I am, I am the blunt roller for Snoop Dogg. What are we, ta- what are we talking about here? I don't need, you know. If you give me an inch, I don't have to take an L. You know what I mean? Like, I, mm. you know. I can I can be a man of decency, you know. If asked, if asked what I would want from Snoop Dogg, uh, I would like to be in some sort of recording session. That would be cool. Uh, I would like some sort of uh, insight into his writing process. That would be cool. I would love to have seen that. Yeah. Um, I'd like to meet some of the people he knows. You know, I, you know, what I'd really like to do is go to a Pittsburgh Steelers game with Snoop Dogg. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, going to a Lakers game with Snoop Dogg, courtside seats, that would be pretty cool. But again, I wouldn't be asking for any of these things. These would just be things that I would enjoy as perks of my job. You know what I'm yeah. saying? How about you, Gabe? What, what are you What are you vouching for? What are you 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 you're gonna say? Let me get some dad raps off Snoop. And oh, I. I, I I'm definitely going to be kicking like, yo, like, you know, we should do like the dad life mixtape, you know, like the Snoop Dogg. Like, yeah, like you're, you're a grandfather now, dog. Like you, you should be getting some of these like these diaper change wraps off, man. You know, <laughs> over some drill beats like it'll go crazy. <laughs> Lord, save me from this man and his dad raps. Like, save I, me, I please. I know you're back on death row, but you should be back on these dad raps. You feel me? DR. Real, <laughs> real DR. <laughs> go ahead, hit the sound alarm for that. That was another one. Another good one. There you go. Look at that. On, on top of things tonight. <laughs> but, fuck death row. Dead raps. Dad raps. That's where it's at. All right. Uh, shout out to. Dad row records is the worst name for a record label. Dad row. Of all time. Hey man, sometimes being a parent does feel like death row. I'm just saying, I'm just oh, throwing yeah. it out there. What do you mean? You mean that like taking care of children is like taking care of Suge Knight? Uh, don't answer that. I, I, don't answer that. <laughs> don't answer that. We're moving on. <laughs> Tired of your children cock blocking all the time? Come to Dad Row. All right, um, let's get to New York, man. <laughs> All right, New York is notoriously New York is notoriously known for rats. We're gonna show one of the more vintage videos that proves this point in just a moment. But New York is trying to do something. I did dig up pizza rat. You dug up pizza rat for this. You know I had to do it. Well done. I almost thought we gave you for nothing. You know. No, we had to go there. Uh, but yeah, listen, you know, you've been to New York many a times. I've only been there for about eight hours, but you've actually experienced the rat experience of seeing this shit. But it looks like in the last uh, almost two years, there's been a 71% increase of rat spottings in the New York City area. And this has caused some concern. So now, starting next April, New York's will be fine. New Yorkers will be fine for putting their trash on the curb before 8 p.m. The current rules have them set at putting the trash out after 4 p.m. So now they have to put it out a little bit later to avoid the the, the rats coming out. I'm not sure if this is going to help or not, but either way, man, what's that experience like, man? Seeing all these rats in New York City. Okay, two things. 
Uh, New York is no longer the rat capital of America. That dubious title belongs to Gabe. Give it to me if you know it. Uh, Chicago? Yes, Gabe. Oh, what is Chicago? Excuse me. Chicago is <laughs> the rat capital of the world. But it's bad the statistic too, yeah. that you just cited weekend, Gabe, said rat sightings. Now, why do we not have as many rat sightings in Chicago? Well, how often do you take a wander down your alley in the dark times of the day? I would venture not that much because this city was well designed. You know who I blame for the rat problem in New York? I blame the Dutch because even old New York was once New Amsterdam and they did not design <laughs> this city with fucking alleyways as they should have. So the trash belongs on the streets and that's where they put that shit. And as a result, the rats are on the streets. They're in the subway. They're getting pizza. If you might play the video. While Let's I go. I'm about to say it. Uh, Let's get to it. But uh, what I will say about, <laughs> about the rats is that they are bold, they are strong, and they are large. Uh, and I will also say that rat sightings is probably not even that much of the <laughs> We got to save splitting, man. Because <laughs> if those are the rats that you're seeing, imagine the rats that you're not seeing. Uh, and I've seen quite a few rats in my time in New York. I've seen rats on third floor apartments. I have seen rats in fucking climbing trash cans rats can climb bro they're like tiny little marsupials out there i'm it's fucking ashamed shame, man that's crazy uh but all these changes may affect the livelihood of one splinter mm -hmm. so uh we have to consider all rats matter and that splinter's lives matter and that this change may harm his health so I just want people to consider that for a moment mm -hmm. uh, while these changes are enacted. I've considered it. I still, uh, I still <laughs> fuck splinter trash on the street. But like you know, every time I go to New York, it's not the it's not the rats that get me. My mom gets got by the rats a lot. She's terrified of rats. She hates that shit. It's the smell of all this shit. Why is the trash on the street? It smells bad. Put it somewhere else. Thank you. That is all right. Question. All right, today marks the 20th anniversary of the making of the band uh, cheesecake scene. Did, were you watching making the band uh, when it was on in 2002? I I late. There were several seasons of making the band. Were there, not? there, this was the second season. Okay, so the first, second the first season, I caught the last, the last few episodes of the second season. But bear in mind, I moved home to the U.S. that summer, okay. so I was still very new to like. MTV programming in general, you know, like got uh, it. All, all that right, shit. So, wonderful. Uh, so if if you remember, Bad Boys Puff Daddy decided to make and construct a band uh, based off the formula of boy bands and girl bands of the late '90s and 2000s. And so he's going to do this on a hip hop tip, uh, incorporating four rappers and an R&B singer uh, to make the band, DA band. And then the big scene that was, uh, if you've seen Dave Chappelle, uh, season two, I think it is, he yes. wonderfully mocks this whole experience. But the scene of all scenes that people still talk about and which marks the 20th anniversary today is going and getting cheesecake for Puffy in the middle of the night, walking from Times Square to Brooklyn to get him cheesecake. Let's go to the video. And then we're going to talk about if we would do this fuck shit. <laughs> Fred! Fred! Y'all got me up. I'm telling you, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. There you go. Walk. I think it was like two or three hours for them to get from Times Square to Brooklyn to get this shit in the middle of the night. It's fucking glorious. Uh, <laughs> not not seen because I was fear of that copyright. Uh, Puffy is in the studio with them, and he's like, "Yo, he's like, y'all hungry?" He's like, "They're like, yeah." He's like, "I'm hungry too." He's like, "I'm hungry for some cheesecake," and then that sets in motion this whole fuck shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, that dude's an asshole. <laughs> oh my god. But but would you walk if you're if you're hungry, 
Sam Crane, OP Sav, you and Spicy Mike, you guys get the pick to be on Bad Boy at Pinnacle Bad Boy time. And he says, yo, I need y'all to run to Brooklyn to get me some cheesecake for OP I mean, Sav. What'd you guys number do? One, number one thing, you're on reality TV. So if you don't know, now you know the key to reality TV is to play the game. What is the game? The game is go get titty, diddy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Take a moment. The game moment. is to go get diddy <laughs> some cheesecake. So if I wish to continue being on the program, I'm going to go get diddy some cheesecake. That being okay. said, I'm going to be smart about it because I am uh, a, a, you know, a person who lives in 2022. So I'll call Uber. i fuck around, take one of them little motorized scooters. i do anything but what they did, which was literally walk all the way to fucking Brooklyn and back. Um, but, yeah, uh, I, I, if I was a part of the reality show, I'm, I'm doing it. How about you? Uh, I would I, – I just based on – me being a broke ass rapper, if I'm at if I'm who these guys are, I'm pretty sure I got nothing to go back to. I'm gonna make that run, man. I gotta do it. Um, I remember LL Cool J saying like at the time he's like, man, he's like, fuck yeah, I would have did it. <laughs> so uh, I don't think there's any argument of like if you would have done it, but but I felt like I would have been like them. I wouldn't have felt great about doing it either. And that a long you guys, walk, like, man. It's a to, long try, walk, you know. Yeah, you're trying uh, to trying to fuck with me. Like that's not the move, and that's what they that's what they were you know, about. If it was really at the time, you know, like I might have just gone outside, seen who had a bike that I could just you know rent off them. I'm like, I'm gonna give you two hundred dollars. <laughs> I think bit. it was I think it was like on some like MTV challenge shit. Like y'all all gotta go get this shit. It can't be like <laughs> one of y'all be like, all right, we're gonna make the run and for it, sacrifice everyone else. You know, like, nah, everyone got to fucking make the walk, which is some real bitch shit. But, yeah, whatever. But, anyways, that's a great moment in the band if you ever miss that TV. I also highly encourage you to look up the White Rappers show on VH1 that was running about simultaneously. That also <laughs> is phenomenal TV in the oh, early man. stages of reality. All right, let's move on to the next bit. We have, oh, Netflix sharing. We talked about this when it first came on board. Yeah. Netflix. Netflix was flirting with the idea of charging additional uh, fees uh, for people who are sharing their passwords. They were doing this in uh, Venezuela uh, or Venezuela, somewhere in, in uh, South America, to yeah. try it out. And it looks like it's coming to America in the near future, uh, where they're going to run up about an additional two ninety nine to your Netflix to add more, uh, like more, more, pa- more usage for family members. Uh, I'm, I'm almost on the verge of just canceling fucking Netflix because I really don't fuck with it that much. It's not that much on there. I mean, like, you know, Halloween season, there's been a lot of talk about this Dahmer series. I got to be honest with you. I, I did not finish it. I don't intend to finish it. It's fairly I boring. To- um, that being said, uh, if you're into that, I guess you're into that. Uh, yeah, Netflix exactly. is just sort of, you know, it's falling off. The prime time to be on Netflix was when they were making Daredevil. They were making fucking, you know, uh, all, all the MCU, MCU TV shows. Just yeah. cool little, you know, bits of content that were fun and uh, explained was cool for a while. Uh, but yeah, Netflix really spent a lot of money on shows that didn't really go anywhere. I don't know who's watching Umbrella Academy. I have no idea. Uh, uh, I have two people that watch it in this house. Not me, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, Gabe's family is the answer to that question. We're, we're, we're literally keeping that series alive in case you're there's wondering. no there's no Game of Thrones equivalent for Netflix. And at that uh, point, then what are we even yeah. talking about? Because like it was only a matter of time before people caught up. You needed a you needed a big title like that. And if you didn't have it, then shit, here we are. I, I can't really think of a Netflix show that I like at the binge watch every time it comes on. I mean, maybe um the Kevin Spacey uh, Washington show. That House was of on. Cards. Yeah. When House of Cards, when House of Cards left. Yeah, that I was never dope. got into that one, but that was one. Uh, didn't they have Breaking Bad for a while? Yeah, but I mean, but that, it wasn't like their show, right? It was just, they just, right, they, just right, they, right. They, they, they had the rights, rights to it. it. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm trying to think of like Netflix, like something that they did. They were like, yo, I got to really like, yeah, I can't wait for this to start. I'm like, eh. Yeah, there's, there's really bunch, nothing. There's, there's really a bunch nothing. of ass shit. Like, like I could watch it and be okay, and, I, and if I don't watch it, I'll be okay. Yeah, they produced right. a bunch of movies, and those movies were kind of trash. Yeah, exactly. Um, so. This is their way to try to get money back from all the... I, I, they, they've hit their ceiling with the number of subscribers. I think oh, they easily. have hundreds of millions of subscribers that there's just not enough people to fucking 
to, to keep you know advancing. So how are you gonna make money? Add more fees, or you know, add ads or some shit, and then make you pay for without the ads. Uh, hence Hulu. So, yeah. Because uh, I think Disney is gonna go to an ad free option. They're gonna add ads, and then there's gonna be an ad free option. So fucking dumb but man rest in peace netflix man it was been real you know good luck uh whatever you guys blockbuster netflix merge in the future all right harrison ford man is gonna be joining captain america new world order as thunderbolt listen man i'm i'm kind of excited about seeing uh, harrison ford age 80 jump into the mcu kind of feels like martin scorsese directing uh one of the mcu i think this is close as we're gonna get but, it's uh, tough to, you know it's tough because uh, william hart did a good job for some years but poor guy yeah he's now deceased so uh yeah it sucks that we have to that we have to do this Re- recast him yeah i think it's cool though man i'm i'm, I'm all for this as you know he's what else is he gonna do 80 years old man like i don't know I, I I mean, who are you gonna get? Is really the the question. And Harrison Ford is fine. That's a, that's a fine person to get. I, I'll 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 cave to that point. Yep. He's coming off. He's he's gonna drop Indiana Jones probably around the same time as this bitch drops. Too. Like we don't know what's happening with Indiana Jones. Don't act like Indiana Jones is a fucking <laughs> thing that's set in stone. <laughs> this man we see on our screens is not gonna be in that movie in any sort of action <laughs> capacity. There's going to be a he lot of He might be in that movie on some professor leaning back in the chair capacity, but he is not going to be on no fucking whoosh capacity. Yeah. No, it's not going to happen. Exactly. I don't need to see him running or chasing, uh, running away from like falling items and believing that yeah. an 80 year old is going to outrun a fucking rock. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to happen. But uh, this is cool, man. I, I like this add-in. I like adding this uh, sort of star power into the films. So this is, this is a good move, man. Uh, I don't know how much longer we're going to have in Harrison Ford for this role. So we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, right, so it's, sort of, it's sort of like replacing the queens. Like, oh, fuck, we're going to do this again in five months. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're like, why would you get like an 80? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter. All right. So uh, speaking of uh, Harrison Ford, more Harrison Ford news, but his character from Star Wars, Han Solo, uh, Baker in California, created a life-size Han Solo out of bread, him Please frozen. Please the carbonite image. Please tell it me is. the carbonite image. There yes. Yes. This oh bitch is my God. six feet tall. Oh, my God. Love it. Uh, she spent weeks molding, baking, and assembling the life-size sculpture sculpture using wood and two types of dough, including a yeastless dough with a higher sugar content that will last longer. So uh, this is cool, man. I, I fucks with this. I, uh, I I would actually like a slice of this. If you um... – Part of me really wants to rip it open and see if Harrison Ford is stuck in there. <laughs> He's still stuck in there. Yeah, that's all. That's all I really want to know. You know. Mm. Mm. Uh, but this is cool, man. I don't. Uh, I don't know how many hours she put into this bitch, but uh, listen, it just looks like a lot of fun work. <laughs> Her kids are at home hungry, but look at this cool Harrison Ford Carmen. I know, bread. right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, exactly. I hope you guys. Uh, she spent two nights working on this, like baking this bitch. <laughs> so, uh, all right, man, good for her, man. This is dope, though. I like, I fuck with this. Uh, all right, let's move on real quick because we're trying to get to music shots. Um, all right, man, real quick. If you got COVID, your fucking lungs and organs are probably fucked. Yeah, that's all this shit, man. I don't care about this shit, bro. You know what? You you're know, not. You're not worried, worried about this. Agree, you know, what we all can agree on fucking life was better before this COVID shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Fucking, my organs are aging faster. Great. What else is new? <laughs> Fucking, I also have to wear masks when I go outside. And I also, every time somebody coughs, my shoulders go like this. You know, like, it's fucking stupid, man. This whole thing is fucking stupid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, somebody put it to me like this. Fucking, uh, if, if COVID was instead a chicken pox pandemic, we would still not know about shingles. Big facts. And yeah. Sure. The the shingles equivalent for this disease is coming soon. But can I worry about that now? No. Is there anything <laughs> I can do about that now? No. So go fuck yourself, COVID, and go fuck yourself, scientists and CNN who are trying to scare us with these stupid ass. All right. Nobody cares, man. We got shit to do. All right. Shout out to everyone who got uh COVID more than once, man. You guys are I don't I don't know how, how much you've de-aged, but whatever. Oh yeah, I'm fucking dying over here. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> but be- 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 between eating glizzies and this shit, I don't know how many years I really have left, to be honest. No. With no. <laughs> and uh, so, all right, man, good deal. All right, last story of the night is, of course, happy birthday to us. Let's go. In a, in a different capacity, I was an engineer for ad. Mm-hmm. We were recording um, Young Black Boy. She ended up doing the hook for that. And that was like the. Shoot, the second time that I had met This him. really poorly lit interview. But, uh, in terms of... Yep. So, uh, happy birthday to us. That was the first episode. You can go find that on our YouTube channel if you're inclined to go back that far two years ago. But, man, it was... Uh, it was uh, I think it was on a Tuesday uh, that I did that. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, it was poorly lit. Everything about it was screamed awful. But, you know, I was just going to like, it's pandemic. So everything's awful at that point. So it didn't really matter. Kind of matched the attitude and the mood of the entire world. So, uh, you know, it was, it, it, it was the beginning of something. It was a spark. But it, yeah. we weren't on fire. Now we're on fire. But that was a spark. <laughs> That's what we're I'll say. We're smoldering now, you know, at the very least, we're smoldering. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So uh, good times, man. Uh, it's, it's been a great two-year run. I'm, I'm so excited for everything that we're going to be doing in the future. So, um, you know, just the, the, a moment to reflect and to, yeah. uh, to salute yeah. everyone who's been part of the show, jumped on the show, contributed to the show, yourself, all our guests, everyone who's, who shouted us out, tagged us, refollowed us. Shout out to Spicy Mike for the news that only Gabe cares about transition seekers. Yeah, exactly. We, wouldn't, we so wouldn't even much, have that know? shit. I yeah, can't even remember. Incredible. I can't even remember what the fuck we were doing before that. It was just like just slides. Look at that. Now look, all the upgrades are are amazing. So uh, everyone who contributed to the show and show love, thank you. I love you for it, and I will never forget you. And this is all I have for you is this killer birthday card from Michael Myers. There you go. <laughs> all right. On that note, uh, we finally get to the end of the news on the Game Cares about expanded edition on, on this, this Thursday, Thursday night. October twentieth, twenty twenty. Thanks for watching this latest episode. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you're looking for more, click on any of the episodes swirling around my head. And also, don't forget to follow us on the socials at Weekend Gabe, at Weekend at Gabe's, and also at The Real Sam Crane. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all.